Hey, what's going on guys? Kurosama here. And today I'm going to be doing a preparatory announcement. This is kind of like an announcement to the announcement. Uh, so I'm doing something big next year. Something that is really paying respects to a particular series within the Gundam franchise. And quite a few of you already know what I'm getting at. Next year is going to be 2021. The 10 year anniversary of Gundam Age. Now my thoughts have been this. Is Bandai going to do anything? Well, looking at past trends, I'm seeing a little bit an in increase of Gundam Age stuff. Ever since 2018 with the Build Divers, uh, the Age 2 Magnum, there has been just a little bit of an increase with uh, Bandai noticing Gundam Age. And I think that's actually pretty noteworthy. Maybe they've been leading up to something big for the 10-year anniversary. Personally, I would love it to be the Gundam... Master Grade, well, the Master Grade Gundam Age 3, or the Master Grade Godfran, or the Master Grade Age FX. Any one of those three kits would make me super happy if we could finally get them in proper retail kit form. But I don't, I really don't think Bandai cares that much to do something that's like age proper, not like spin off. They'll do spin offs all day, it's pretty cheap to make those. But to do an actual Master Grade of the Age 3 or Age FX, I think that would blow so many people away, and I think it would sell quite a bit. Maybe not as much as something like the Wing Custom Verka and all that, or you know some other Perfect Grade um, Unleashed. Like those are obviously big sellers. But I would really, I would really say that the Master Grade Age FX would probably sell more than any of the double O kits that have been coming out. The Master Grade Dynamis, the Master Grade Kyrios, and the um, Virtue. I don't think any of those would sell as much as one of those two. Maybe not Gafran, but H3, HFX, those would definitely sell. So with all those little small monthly themes that we've done, I want to kind of expand it. And a lot of people was like, oh, we're doing another, you know, Gundam Age theme month. It's like, no, 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 not, not quite. They're like, oh, we're doing a, a quarter, like a three-month age marathon. I'm like, no, 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 not quite. What we're going to be doing is a Gundam Age year theme. And I know, I know everyone's like, what? Like, you can't do an entire year of age. That is madness. That is insane. I will go ahead and counterpoint. Every time a new series comes out, let's just say Iron-Blooded Orphans. Kind of in a pseudo way, people are already doing a year theme of Iron Blooded Orphans. 2015, 2016, a little bit of 2017. We had all the channels, not really mine because I wasn't really doing content at the time, but all the channels was doing every single high grade from the IBO line. So in a way, they did X amount of you know high grades, the you know one one hundreds or all the other little you know minor stuff. And they kind of did a whole year of that franchise, right? Or that series. The same thing with G Reco. Once that came out, I seen a bunch of people doing all the G Reco kits. Uh, same thing moving over to the Build Divers. And I'm kind of at fault with this one too, because I did a bunch of the Build Divers kits, not as much of the Re Rise. But still, even to this day, for Re, uh, Re Rise, I see a bunch of channels. Every, every single time a new Re Rise kit comes out, they review it. So I don't think it's that far-fetched for me to do an entire year of one particular series. Now, it's going to be a year that I've built the most kits because this year I've only been around like 50-something kits I've built. That's not really that much. Come next year, just the Gundam Age kits alone is roughly about 66 Gundam Age kits. You know what? That's a lot. That's a lot of kits. But I'm going to be doing different things with some of the kits. I'm, I'm really estimating to paint at least one kit per month. Not every painted kit is going to be like this big banger of a you know custom, you know, big spectacular looking model. But I want to do something to each kit during that month and just make it a little bit more mine. Um, so some of it's going to be like the original colors, some of it's going to be variant colors, and I might even do some custom stuff to some of these age kits. Now for the first quarter, I'm only doing the first arc Gundams and all the other, like the Vegan suits and the Grunt suits. So that means like the Zetas, you got the Godfriend, you got the uh, Genoese, Genoese Custom. Uh, we have the all the Gundam Age 1 Normals, the Spalos, as well as the Tituses. So every kit that has come out, 
I'm going to be doing a review on all of those. The only kits that you're probably not going to see come next year is going to be the H3 Expo. I don't have that kit, and that kit's a pretty hard one to find. The high-grade H2 Artemis, that, or well, clear version, sorry. I have the normal conversion. I don't have the clear version. That one's kind of rare, and I missed out on my chance to grab it. So those two in particular, I will not be reviewing unless I can just find it somewhere next year or, hey, if, if maybe one of you guys got it, you, you hit me up on that Discord. Now, there's a little bit more to this story, all right? I'm not doing this just to be like, hey, age, celebration. Uh, I kind of do have a purpose for why I'm doing this. So Level 5 and Bandai did a spectacular job on this series. I, I absolutely love it. It's my favorite series. I don't think it's the best series because uh, I know there's a lot of faults with it when it comes to story writing and characters. Uh, the pacing was really bad because you're condensing four arcs into like, you know, a 40, what, 49 episode story. It's pretty hard to do that. If it would have been two arcs within 49 episodes, that would have been perfect. You would have been able to get every single fine point of the story within that time frame. But much like Gundam X the, and Mobile Suit Gundam, the story got cut short, and it's unfortunate. But they still did a great job, and I want to kind of commend them for it. So I'm going to be posting on Twitter very frequently. I'll be posting on other social media platforms. And I'm going to try and tag as many of the people as possible, like the voice actors, Bandai, uh, Level 5, directors, producers, like anyone I can tag that's been uh, an affiliate and just a part of the Gundam Age franchise, I want to tag them and I want to show them some love. And I kind of extend that to everyone else. I think this whole entire year, I want to give all these people who worked their asses off for this series that really kind of, you know, get shafted like by haters saying, oh no, Age is not that great. I want to go ahead and give them the appreciation that they well deserve. Now, a lot of what I'm going to be doing is going to be talked about within my Discord. We have an individual channel that is dedicated to all age. So you can go in there and it's exclusively talking about Gundam Age, whether it's the games, whether it's the anime, the manga, the merchandise. All of this is going to be within one channel on the Discord. And if you want to be a part of that conversation, help me out. And there's going to be a lot of things going on that I will need some assistance to try and like you know, reach out to content creators or reach out to other people just for a little bit of assistance. Hey, let me know if you want to be a part of that conversation, if you want to be a part of that Discord, and we can go ahead and make that conversation happen. Now, aside from the social media posts, something else I'm going to be doing is doing a weekly episode watch with all the people on Discord. So there is, you know, hey, there is no real good way to watch Gundam Age because it is not like a good fine English dub or English subtitles anywhere on online. Um, there's probably like some illegal you know sites to go ahead and search it, but for the most part, it's really kind of difficult to find Gundam Age and stream it. So on my Discord, once a week on Saturday mornings, it, we're gonna go ahead and watch the you know one episode of Gundam Age, and that's gonna you know take us all the way until December, uh, about like October ish. Uh, so hopefully we can just have like a really good understanding about Gundam Age and all the people who has not watched it previously can take that opportunity on Saturdays to go ahead and watch the episode. We could do like little discussion pieces on it during that day while I'm building, you know, age kits. We're doing li uh, some live streams and there's going to be some other things that we're going to try and do. Also, I would like to go ahead and play uh, some of the video games again. So I don't think I can get the PSP titles. They're kind of rare at this point. Uh, but I will be playing Gundam Versus, and I'm going to be using primarily just age kits and trying to do the best damn job I can and take them to the top in the ranking system. So expect that as well. I'll go back to Gundam Versus, and we'll do some in-depth you know, battles with the Gundam Age units and just try and do our best with them. Now, you don't have to worry if you don't really like Gundam Age. I still plan to review a lot of the brand new model kits that's going to be coming out by Bandai and Kotobukiya during those months because a majority of the Gundam Age line are all high grades. And to be honest, high grades don't take me that long to build. I can pretty much sit down and finish an entire high grade in one setting, but the master grades may, may take me a little bit longer. However, I think uh, you know building some other stuff in the meantime and still reviewing that is still going to keep this channel good and fresh, but just expect a lot of influx on the age content. So 
at least 66 kits will be getting reviewed, and then there's going to be a lot of painted customs. I'll be doing a lot of giveaways. Oh, yeah, speaking of giveaways, huh? if you stuck around to the end of this video, I do have a treat for you. So every single month, I will be doing a giveaway of an age kit, and age kits are pretty rare to get, so I do try and find as many of the rare ones as I can, like the Gundam Age Titus, maybe the Genoases, like the, uh, no, Genoase 2 is actually not that rare, uh, but the Claunch, I actually have one of those I'm going to be giving away, uh, as well as the Age FX, and if I can get other ones like the Age FX Burst, I'll be giving those away. So if you are the kind of person that loves giveaways, I'm going to be a little secretive with these. I'm not just going to like put an entire video out about a giveaway. These are going to be hidden within the Gundam Age exclusive videos. So if I put a Gundam, Gundam Age video of like the high grade Age 1 Spalo, maybe somewhere in that video is going to be the actual giveaway. So probably go ahead and look out for that and stick to the end of the videos so that way you can see if the giveaway is actually there or not. Uh, if not, then hey, wait till the next video. But I will be doing it like that. I think it's just the best course of action. But make sure you go ahead and just ring that bell for notifications and subscribe if you want to be caught up and try to be entered into these giveaways. Some of them are going to be challenges and some, some of them are going to be contests and some will actually just be a normal giveaway where you maybe comment in the section below and that's pretty much it. So thank you all for you know sticking around with this, you know, pre-video to the announcement i should be having that announcement video come up on january 1st and uh, for right now i would love for you guys to go ahead and buy some gundam age merch so that way you can be a part of the gundam age phenomenon and the 10 year anniversary so hey maybe if you do have a kid and you build it maybe you post it on a particular social media platform at some point during next year hey maybe that's an entry to get into the giveaways so that's, that's it for me, guys. I, I don't want to spoil too much, but that's it. I'll be talking to you pretty much January 1st. Yeah, when we go talk about more age. So I'll be seeing you guys later. Bye-bye.